Hey guys, my name is Matt Johnson, and today I am pumped to bring you part three of the behind the scenes of Noah and Mallory's wedding film. In this part, I'm gonna be covering all the aspects of the wedding ceremony. So everything from the gear that we used, how we set it up, the angles that we're using, how we filmed the ceremony from beginning to end is gonna be covered in this video. Incidentally, if you've not watched part one or part two yet, because you're like, I only wanna know how you do ceremonies, I would absolutely love if you would check out part one and two because part one covers all of our pre-production and how we film establishing shots and our plans for the day. Part two covers every aspect of how we film the bride and groom getting ready on the wedding day. So everything from them getting dressed to how we light the rooms, hair, makeup, letter reading, all those aspects are covered in part two. I would love if you would check out those two parts. I will link them up in the corner and down in the description for you to check out. Also, it'd be really great if you would check out Noah and Mallory's wedding film if you haven't seen that yet either. So that's also linked, corner, description, check that out too. Okay, on to part three and everything that we know about filming wedding ceremonies. We are 30 minutes till ceremony time. So at this point, we're going into crazy ceremony prep mode, I like to call it. The most it. pressure of the entire day. Most pressure of the entire day, essentially, because we just have a lot of moving parts that we have to get ready very quickly. But we sound pretty nonchalant, because honestly, we have 30 minutes, so things aren't that crazy. But for now, Rachel's gonna get out the 7200 for her camera. She's gonna keep that in the 50 millimeter because whenever they're doing the walk down the aisle, she's gonna be on the 50, and then she'll switch to the 7200 for the ceremony. And put it on the I'm side. gonna get out the other 7200 and put it on the Sony FS100, and that's gonna be on another tripod ready to roll. Are you the efficient? You yeah. look, uh, any, I can always tell because they have an iPad yeah. or, a, or a Bible of yeah. some sort. Yeah. Matt Johnson, hey, nice Matt. to meet you. Nice to so meet you. Um, for the ceremony, for the video, I have a mic that I would love to put on you, just a little, voice recorder so that way we can hear your message just yeah. so it won't be broadcast or anything. I don't think sure. they're are they doing are they gonna have a mic on uh, you for the I think I'm gonna be okay yeah. then you'll be double mic but mine will just be standalone okay. so we'll so do it'll that be, it'll be on yeah. the whole time yeah okay. it'll just pick up it'll be good so any embarrassing things that you want to say <laughs> it'll get all will be memorialized now. forever I'll get no no now. say them during the ceremony <laughs> is what I'm saying <laughs> yeah so I'm gonna have a little time of mm -hmm. like private, private prayer. prayer with yeah, yeah. bride and groom okay during communion okay uh, but it wouldn't matter Towards if they the picked end. up that and you yeah. turned off. It won't, it won't I won't, you don't have to, yeah. For, for my mic, the way I'm editing and shooting, if it's a private moment, I won't put it in, in the, the video. video. I'm not really into blackmail. <laughs> not yet. Once I hear something really juicy, don't, 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 don't. then there'll be time, you know? We're going to be running a Sennheiser G3 into the Sony FS100. The Sennheiser G3 is going to be on the groom. We're going to have a Olympus voice recorder with a microphone mounted lapel mic. That is going to be on the groom as well because I believe in backups. We're also going to have another Olympus recorder with a microphone mounted mic on the minister. Also, we're going to plug into the soundboard. So that should be enough audio. Also, also. Also, 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 I know. So we have to plug all that stuff in, get it all ready to go in about the next 30 minutes. And I generally like to wait until about 15 minutes beforehand to mic the groom and the minister because that means less time for them to forget and mess up and like take off their jacket because they wanted to change clothes randomly or do a bathroom, do something where it would mess with the microphone. So to do that as close to the ceremony as possible is ideal, but it's also really stressful. So that's what we're gonna do now. Compromise. Running around like chickens with their head cut off that kind of know what we're doing. Game plan for the ceremony as it stands right now. Everything's subject to change, just yeah. be aware. But for now, what we're thinking here is Rachel is gonna be up at the front on the side crouched down for whenever the groomsmen are walking down the aisle. Noah's gonna come in here over here from the right and he's gonna come in and stand. All of the groomsmen are gonna walk in and do with these the weird hugs and handshakes they're with the bride. The they're walking down with the bridesmaids. They're gonna do some weird like handshake hug thing. And then they're all gonna be up there. Rachel will be up there at the front to get Mallory. Mallory's gonna come out of this house, walk around here, loop around in. Noah's gonna be turning away. So my goal is to have Rachel at the front up there getting Noah turning around and his reaction freaking out. At the same time, I'm gonna be back here next to Mallory. I'm gonna follow her up and then I'm gonna go to the side of her to get her reaction of her like ah, freaking out whenever she sees him. Then I'm gonna follow Mallory down the aisle. Rachel will get her reaction as she I'll walks from the back front. Back and forth, from back his and forth face getting his reaction in her face. It's a I'm gonna be following aisle. in. And then for the ceremony, we will have two tripods set up on each side. Rachel will be operating one tripod. I will be operating the other one, but I will also be roaming. So I'm gonna lock it off with a slightly wider shot on the Sony FS100 and just leave it. Rachel will be on the A7S2. So that way she's getting the detail stuff and we're guaranteed that we have a good ceremony angle, but I do not care about my angle as much because I'm gonna be roaming, getting pretty creative shots, pushes, things like that. More likely to Little use. Little slides from the back. I have a secure angle so that if like 
we need like something important said that it's that's least secure yes we don't bother with doing the safety third angle or anything like that because we feel that having our two fixed cameras with me roaming we're going to have enough angles to be able to make a ceremony if they end up wanting to order one in the future so that's the general plan for the exit i will come back here to the back and i will glide cam get out I'll, I'll get the kiss and then i will glide cam out as they are coming and that should end up looking pretty darn cool and that's the ceremony the other thing that i really prioritize is the couple time immediately after the ceremony because that's going to be a super emotional time whenever they're both like freaking out and some of those genuine moments unlike later whenever you're like kind of posing them and having them do things they're going to be a little bit more stiff and it's gonna be a little more performance based but because that initial moment when they see each other they're going to be totally freaking out like losing that's it the best moment. and that is the best time to be filming so i want to make sure that i am ready to do that as soon as they glide cam out and rachel will generally throw her camera back onto a monopod and run and after me after to get you. that moment like, get, too. I'll, I'll usually get a couple of prizes coming down, turn off, come up, take off my camera, maybe turn off the other camera on the other side and then run after you to try to get some of that moment too, if I have time. This day is turning out so pretty too. Oh my gosh, this is incredible. So this is gonna be so great. Keep you guys updated. So at this point here, we're going over here to put mics on people and do the audio. I have a mic for you in like two I minutes have, here. I have ex explicit orders from Noah. Explicit orders, good. Yes, do not worry. I'm doing the audio over here first. I'll just be in the ground. Yes, room. okay, perfect. I'll be in there in a second. So right now I'm plugging in sound into the soundboard for the recording. So I've got a lot of things here going on right now. But currently I'm plugged with my Zoom H4 in into the record out of the soundboard. So we're gonna hear John Mark here, his beautiful, sweet, crooning voice that sounds something I would say like Shakira, but as, as a man. So it's gonna be a super beautiful time in this wedding. So I'm also plugging into the minister's uh, mic receiver here because all the receivers have an XLR and a quarter inch output. So I can plug directly into that. And if I hit record here, it should ideally start recording both. I can record both the minister and the scene into one audio recorder and this thing will auto level and I don't have to stress about it. And I am hearing stuff. Can you, can you say test, test, one, two, three? Perfect, love it, love it, love it, it's working. Okay, great. So that is now rolling, it's all plugged in and I don't have to think about it or monitor it because I got other things to think about. So at worst case scenario, I now have two sources of audio rolling. We're gonna go put a lot more microphones on people now and get even more sources of audio though. Come along with me. So Rachel has the Sony FS100 that she's putting over there. I'm going to put the Sennheiser G3 receiver and run it into that in just a minute. I have audio bags on audio bags here inside. This one is the Sennheiser G3 and this inside this one is my Olympus voice recorder. So we're going to go now locate everybody that we need to mic, the groom and the minister. And they should both be in the cottage here. I think they're in the groom's room. So we're gonna loop around to that. I have microphones for you, I have microphones for you. Okay, you wanna come over here, that's fine. That is more than fine. Okay, who wants to go first? Okay, that's terrifying. We have the Olympus DM620, ah, I'm losing things. We have the Olympus DM620 recorder here. I was gonna do him first here. Okay, a little tip for you, a little tip for you guys here. Right whenever I start recording, I say, this is Noah and Mallory minister mic. So that way, whenever I'm listening to audio later, I'm like, oh, immediately, and I can tell whenever I hit play on the audio file. Yeah, he came running up to me. He's like, Noah told me to find you. I was like, I'm getting to you, don't worry. This is so professional here. You have an inner jacket pocket that works easiest usually. One of those is free here. Yes, 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 yes. Okay, that's this guy. It's gonna go right here on the inside. So that way, cause it's a little windy out there. Mm -hmm. So this helps out for it to be on the inner jacket pocket. <clears throat> now hold on, don't button up yet here. Because of the wind, I also have these little fuzzy over covers. I don't normally use them, but the wind is approximately hurricane force. So we're gonna put that yeah, they're, they're over it here. Whipping. Right? It's intense. So once you have that buttoned up there, then you so are does good. does this need to be hidden? Uh, yes, I'm somewhere. gonna tuck that in there in just one moment here. Make sure that's rolling, make sure that's on hold. Okay, good. So this guy is gonna drop down into this pocket and we are good. You are now set to marry Noah and Mallory. Congratulations. I mean, because before then. You weren't ready. Before, you weren't 
qualified. Okay, this is Noah and Mallory groom mic. Okay, so this pocket's the one we gotta do here, cause... I feel like there's like a, like a spider. Right? Just kind of creeping <laughs> out there a little out bit. From behind the lapel. I can move it a little bit if that bothers you. Oh, good. But. <laughs> <laughs> Help him! There's a spider! Run! Mom comes okay, up. Okay, hold on, it. hold on. I'm gonna. <laughs> <laughs> you get a fuzzy here too. Those are really fuzzy. Where'd you get those? Uh, oh, yeah, ones that are like a little bit fuzzy. These guys are like, like turbo fuzz. I don't know. I just bought them off B&H, okay, man? Overcovers? Yeah, overcovers. And they are wonderful. So. It's gonna go tucked down in your pocket, and that's good. But do not button up yet, because I have another microphone for you. Because I live in fear. <laughs> Double mic. Constant, <laughs> constant fear. Do, 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 do. We'll do a triathlon sprint after this. Be great fun. Yeah, Paul's running in a half <laughs> Iron Man next week. Are you serious? Paul is. Paul, you're insane. Paul is a total manly man here. day with you. I cannot imagine um, just something more special. This isn't just a day for Noah and Mallory today. This is, this is a day for all of you who are here. And you're here for a reason. You're here because they want you to see and to celebrate with them what God is doing in their life. Do you love him? Comfort him? Honor him? Well, all of you witnessing these promises today, do all in your power to uphold these two people in their marriage. If you will, you please respond by saying that you are worthy of all my attention, affirmation, trust, sacrifice, and respect. That second only to my salvation. Because these are true, for these things I will fight to draw near to you at every moment and in every season, to love deeply, show affection, and listen. Would you like to draw this out? <laughs> Noah, please kiss your bride. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, I'm proud to present to you for the very first time, Mr. and Mrs. Joseph Noah. You guys want to sneak over here to the grass really quick? Have a moment together? Maybe? Instead of going inside? Let's go this way. That's the end of part three. Thank you so much for watching. I hope this video was helpful to you and gave you some great insight into exactly how me and Rachel film a wedding ceremony from beginning to end. Part four is gonna be out very soon and is gonna cover every single bit of the wedding reception. So everything from the toasts and how we mic them, to the lighting of the reception, to the dancing, how crazy it got and how we handled that. And then there's also a massive lightning storm that rolled through that nearly ruined the reception. That's covered, followed by the epic exit with lightning in the background that drove off easily. The best wedding exit that I've ever filmed. Totally mind blowing. I absolutely loved every second of it. So that is all coming in part four, coming up very soon. As always, if you have any questions or comments though about this part or honestly any other aspect of filmmaking, please feel free to leave one below or get in touch with me through my website, 
whoismatt.com. It is also a mega help to me if you would consider liking this video and subscribing if you want to see more videos like this in the future. I also have an Instagram page where I post a lot of behind the scenes. If you want to check that out, it is instagram.com slash whoismatt. And I have a Facebook page where I post a lot of camera news and reviews and gear thoughts. I will link to that down in the description of this video. Last two things. I held up three, last two things. If you wanna sign up for filmmaker consulting, one-on-one -on -one with me where you can ask me any questions about filmmaking at all, I would love to have you sign up and you can check it out at whoismat.com slash consulting. Final thing, if you wanna check out my wedding film production company, it's Filmstrong Productions at filmstrong.com, which is where Noah and Mallory's video is, which this is video three, and I'm getting kind of annoyed if you haven't watched it yet because I've been telling you the start of every single video in the series and at the end, you should really check it out by now. Thank you so much for watching and have a great day.